Hello everyone! Um, I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing how to download um, data from a particular website that we're going to use for this first lab and then how to input that data into a spreadsheet. Um, I do have a separate video on like how to make a beautiful graph and stuff, but I want to kind of put these two together as well um, so that you can kind of see what's going on. A big disclaimer that I'm going to have to say is that not everyone's machine acts the same, right? So I use a MacBook. Um, what I'm going to show pretty much throughout the semester is what I can see and what I can show. Um, so it may not be what your um, what your machine shows, and I'm sorry that I can't show everything. Um, I wish I could, but I don't have everyone's machine. <laughs> so I'm just going to be able to show what I can, what my screen can see. If you have any other issues or if you need any assistance with that, please just holler and let me know um, and we can work through it together. Usually it's easier for me to be able to assist you when I can also see what's going on, um, whether it be through screenshots or if we do a quick um, Zoom thing or if we're in person can kind of come around and look at your machine. Um, other than that, everything should, fingers crossed, uh, work okay. Thankfully, also the website that we're using for this first lab to download some data um, has gone through some upgrades. And so um, there, at least in the past couple semesters, there haven't been as many issues as there were, say, like four or five semesters ago. So hopefully things will, will work out. So anyways, um, going back to it. So Here's the part of the lab um, that the that this particular video is um, going towards. So this is our first lab, our scientific skills lab. Um, so there was already a part up above kind of showing us, you know, what graphs are and, you know, how to interpret those graphs and stuff like that. But now you're going to make your very own, maybe even your very first graph um, using any spreadsheet software of your choice. So the website that we're going to use um, for this particular exercise is from the NCDC, um, which is, I should know what it stands for, the <laughs> um, but it's National uh, Center for... Oh, now it's all changed. But basically what we're going to be looking at is sea ice extent, which is a global um, phenomenon for, in this case, the month of June. Um, and so this particular video I'm making in the fall semester, so June is the default month. Please don't change it. If you're taking this for the spring semester, I think maybe December is the default month. I tend to, I forget anyway. But the reason that I choose this particular variable is because it's something that I think is pretty tangible and it's a really easy to access data set. Um, some temperature data is just not as easy to access and we're actually going to be doing temperature stuff when we do a climate change lab later on. But anyway, this is a beautiful graph here, right? Like we have, you know, we have an X axis, we have a Y axis. We actually have two Y axes here. Um, one side is in kilometers squared. The other side is in uh, miles squared, millions of kilometers, millions of miles. Um, so that's pretty cool. However, you did not make this graph, right? There's a sweet old little watermark back here that says NOAA, and I'm pretty sure we're not NOAA. Um, but what I also want to point out, notice how it has a nice title. It has the time stamp here. Um, it has, you know, the, what the trend line means. All great, all beautiful things that almost all beautiful graphs should have. You know, one thing it doesn't really have, I suppose, would be an x-axis um, title, but we can pretty well infer that it's probably years, right? But to download this data, um, I don't want you to take a screenshot of this and call it your own graph again. Watermark, not your graph. Um, so um, there's three buttons here that you'll see kind of in the bottom left-hand side. Um, one says CSV, which is comma separated value. The next one is JSON, and that's just a type of um, method that the, the data is, is given to you or XML. So XML is pretty common for something like um, website design and things like that, maybe if you're using Java. Um, for our purposes, because we're just going to be using Excel, I'm not going to teach you um, how to use any other uh, uh, software making or uh, graph making software. Um, if you know how to use other graph making software, you go for it, honey boo boo bear. But um, I'm just going to show what I would see as the simplest method. So we're going to use CSV. So when I click on that button, 
this pops up for me, right? So it says what I want to save it as. You can change the name for this uh, and where I want to download it to. So do I want to put it on my downloads folder? Do I want to put it on my desktop? Do I want it like, you know, just where, where do I want to put it, right? But for some of us, this may not pop up right away. So if something like that doesn't pop up right away, what you can do, again, I'm on a laptop, so I'm going to two finger uh, center or uh, right hand click or right finger click and see how this little thing pops up here on the bottom left. Um, so I have, I have tons of options, right? So for my machine, notice how it says save link as. That's what my machine shows. What some other people's machine may show will be download link as, and that's the same thing. So when I click on that, notice how this is a very, the, the next thing that pops up, right? It's the same thing that um, popped up when I just clicked on this button, right? So it's, it's doing the same function, just accessing it in a different way, right? So that's kind of the, the idea with that. So I'll change this name. I'll do global I oops, uh, global ice June. You can keep it as data or whatever. It doesn't really matter to me, but just for, um, that those purposes. So now it's in my downloads folder. Woo. Awesome. Um, so then what you're going to do, um, for this particular assignment is I, and you'll, you'll hear me say this a bajillion times throughout the semester, but I personally prefer to use um, Sheets over Excel. Um, I feel like Google Sheets um, just does a, a much better job of making beautiful graphs. So you're going to pick up a, a blank um, sheet. You're going to go to File, and I think Import tends to be the easiest one. Um, and I'm going to upload it. If you put it on your desktop, you can click and drag. Um, I put it in my downloads folder, so I have to go to downloads, just selecting that. It's a CSV file. Notice how a CSV, see how it's, um, it's able for me to click because CSV is a type of file that um, spreadsheet software can open. Notice how I can't open a PDF, right? But I can indeed open a CSV file. So I'm just going to do open. It's going to read the file. Um, everything else you can pretty much keep as it is. You can replace the spreadsheet and separator type detect automatically because it's a comma separated value file. This will work quite nicely. So you'll just import the data and ah, voila, there she is. Um, again, there is a separate video for um, how to make a beautiful graph. Um, so check on that if you need extra assistance on graph making. Um, we will be going through it um, in class if we're in person or online. So if you need any assistance, let me know. Also, if you need any help with the data file, just in general, just shoot me an email um, and I can send off the data file if you're like truly, truly having issues. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Holla if you have any questions.